The edges is just about to go on the wall over from 0 0.7 to 0.99 amp hours to 73 amp hours. Takes 50 revolutions for the 100th decimal to click over. This is a very old DC meter which I hit laying around in my garage as well. It's probably around 1900, 1905. It's type A, 5000 revolutions per kilowatt hour. The meter was rated at 15 amps. Initially it was used at 230 volts but somehow it's been modified to 6 volts. Although the amp hour meter itself measures current only, so there is no reference to a voltage. Um, there is a shunt in parallel with the meter, uh, which I have temporarily bypassed because it didn't allow me to drive the disc. We'll open this one up and we have a look in it. Um, I'm not sure what the make is. A C, an E and an A but it's a DC meter. The red wire is going in and the brown wire is going out. At the moment I just used a power supply 12 volts with um, 180 ohms and 470 ohms in series just to give it a ballast the current is about uh, 50 milliamps to get the disc going at a reasonable speed without burning out the movement. The meter uses an aluminium disc. In the disc there are three coils which are being fed through a couple of beryllium springs in a commutator. We'll zoom into it. <coughs> The commentator can be seen here. Lead in and lead out terminals. It's actually amazingly made, considering this is from the turn of the century or last century. I'll stop the meter at one station and you can see the actual lead-in wires. That's where it calls. Gear train is some solid bias. <coughs> Gear train.
the lower terminals that goes through the back base to a shunt and these are the connector terminals This is the way of the meter. For the sake of the test I had the shunt disconnected. I don't think it's the original shunt. Over 5 amps the meter hardly moves. So there must be a bit more voltage drop. So I'm gonna wire another shunt and I'll see if I can recalibrate the meter. That's the base, the big base. This is the shunt in normal service position. It's quite a heavy meter. And this part of the meter fits on top of here. Oop, a bit of glare there.